This is the coolest thing ever as far as I'm concerned. As you look down the halls, you saw the different hangars with either engines or giant airplanes. It was so cool. I wasn't expecting all of this. The first time I've ever seen, you know, a plane that close, a helicopter that close, an engine that close, it was mesmerizing. I did mechanical engineering as an undergrad and one of the things that I was missing was a link to a physical implementation, like an example of the theory I was learning. And this is a direct application for almost the entire degree. Here they can really see the aircraft close up, they can look inside different airplanes, they can touch upon all the different elements. This is an introductory course. They're taking this within usually their first or second year and they get to understand all of the complexity and the different components and the stuff that's involved in a functional airplane. The students all go out to saint hubert to the hangar, to the school, and they do five four-hour labs. It was extremely hands-on, much more than I thought it would be. It's a very good way to getting the students' hands dirty um, because I think it's something we all want. They really see that an aircraft is like a multidisciplinary product and that it has all these different elements and you need to know about all them because they are all interrelated. Every single student gets to do each one of the labs and they do hydraulics and avionics and electrical systems and gas turbine engines and structures and, and it's all hands-on, none of it is classroom instruction, so all of it is uh, actual hands-on labs. It's all good and fine to talk about it in class and see photos, but actually seeing the size and the proportions of everything and how it all fits together. This is about teaching engineering students some of the things they need to know so that when they leave the university they can go into industry and they can function at a much higher level than they would if they had their engineering sciences, but not a real deeper understanding of, of what industry engineers do. If you're going to work with airplanes or in an aerospace industry, it's good to understand all the basic components of their flight, how it flies, all the electronics that go into it, all the hydraulics, all the components. So in terms of finding a job, you know, it's, it's almost a core essential class to have in terms of being able to succeed in aerospace or just engineering in general to understand how these things work. This is a really positive initiative for Concordia to take because of its relevance in today's economy and what the industry is looking for. I have lots of friends in engineering and not one of them have ever had an experience like this where you actually get to you know, physically touch the things that we're studying. It adds another dimension to the learning.